Did you know that teeth originally evolved as spines on sea creatures? Hi everyone, astrobiologist here with some truly bizarre biology. If you have sensitive teeth, it's this guy's fault. His name is Anatolepis Heinze, and he lived half a billion years ago in the Cambrian slash Ordovician era. Now his spines contain dentin, and dentin is the material that is right under our enamel. In humans, dentin has nerves in it that tell the temperature, so they go crazy if you bite into something cold. In a creature a little more akin to this guy, like a crab, the nerves in dentin are for detecting vibrations in water. That's crazy. This implies that teeth, the expensive mouth bone that have to be insured separately from our other bones, evolved as protection from predators and then evolution was like, yeah, I guess we could chew with these too. We've actually known about Ananolepis since 1976, but it was only very recently that scientists did the CT scan that showed that Ananolepis is not a fish, but a weird bug, also known as an arthropod. Arthropods are butterflies, beetles, crabs, things that are mostly not delicious. But this makes sense, because the Cambrian was not full of fish, it was full of arthropods. In fact, the Cambrian Ordovician Ocean is full of guys that you might find around Bikini Bottom. Enthusiastic sponges, rudimentary starfish, squid with bad attitude. Anatolepis is exactly the kind of guy you would find hanging out there. Or maybe rock bottom with the other weirdos. Anyways, he's got teeth on the outside of his body, and those 500 million year old teeth are full of dentin, the stuff that hurts when you bite into ice cream. Anatolepis is one of the oldest macroscopic creatures on the planet. He's older than fish. He's older than Saturn's rings. He's older than some of the stars in the night sky. And yet, there is a direct link between this guy and his weird outside teeth and us and our nice inside teeth. Every day I come on this website and I tell you that evolution is the wildest thing you will ever learn about. That's all for today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.